Hello everyone, welcome to the Mr. Ben Show, and welcome to another reaction video. Today we're reacting to the state of play for the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart gameplay demo thing. 10 minutes of gameplay is what they're showing off in two indie games that are familiar to us. And the, the stream just played, or video just premiered, what, however they, they put these things out. And yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna clap it over and get, get into it. I guess I should turn the quality up too. Okay. Welcome to an all new state of play. We've got more than 15 minutes of new Ratchet and Clank Rift oh, Apart 15 PS5 minutes. gameplay coming right up. Cool. But first, let's check in on two other exciting games coming to PlayStation 4 and okay. PlayStation 5 We're just getting straight PC. into the two indie games. Made it to 4546B. Landing was... A bit rough, but I don't think they've spotted me. Hi, I'm Jeff, audio producer at Unknown World. Subnautica? Set one year after the award-winning original, Subnautica Below Zero plunges players into a frigid underwater adventure in search of answers. Is this not here, out the already? wildlife above and below the surface might consider you a tasty treat, assuming you I mean, looks cool. Nice first. The previous research crew has vanished. I remember when Subnautica system. first came out, it wasn't really my thing, but... To uncover the truth, you'll need to get crafty, building tools and shelter for your survival. But even that may not be enough. I didn't know there was like a story now to to their I shit. To there was like characters. With the PS5 what? Dual Sense controller, <laughs> every icy shock really? like it's being sent right cool. into your hands. The haptic feedback system allows you to feel each adrenaline-filled chase and provides visual and audio cues as you use resources. It's kind of kind of a horror moments. game. It has its scary moments. Where it's probably Monsters could be scary. By the time you squint to see what's ahead, we like horror games on this channel. Late. Fortunately, when you play Below Zero on PS5, players will get a crystal clear experience with up to 4K graphics, targeting 60 FPS when in performance mode. And if you already own a physical or digital version of the first Subnautica on PS4, you'll be able to upgrade to the digital PS5 version at no additional cost. We hope cool. you're as excited as we are to dive into the world of Subnautica Below Zero when it launches on PS5 and PS4 on May 14th. Oh, it's not out soon. And Among Us. Okay, the two indie games. Is this the PS5 announcement? Oh, for Ratchet and Clank in it. <laughs> oh, it's not on PS4 yet? Well, PS4 and PS5 with, with Ratchet and Clank. Cool. <laughs> we can't wait to dive deep Among Us isn't my game, zero. but... I also don't have a group of friends to play it with. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm Looks like Ratchet and sure the Game are ready people. for the spotlight. Some Next people up, I get Insomniac together. Games will lead us on a tour of this June's PS5 action adventure. But let's get into Ratchet and Clank. Why we are here? I know they just put out a trailer. I didn't watch the new trailer. I was like, they're coming out with a state of play, so why? I'm not gonna watch the trailer if we're getting a state of play soon. So this could be that trailer? And then that trailer was just a teaser for this? I don't know. This game is so pretty. I'm Marcus Smith, creative director of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, a brand new full-length Ratchet & Clank adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 console. Today we're going to introduce you to some of the gameplay, characters, and arsenal of Rift Apart. Whether you've played every game since Ratchet & Clank's debut, or you're brand new to the series, Rift Apart is a standalone adventure that you won't want to miss. I played through 2016. I, I watched the movie too. <laughs> it would be fun to revisit 2016. It was free for not too long ago. It could it still might be free, right? What is this place? I don't know what they're doing with the, the days of play or whatever. What is it called? Stay at home. 
I almost picked up the controller. Maybe someone around here has seen him. Have any of you seen a little gray robot anywhere? Green eyes, red antenna, very charming. Ratchet has been separated from his best friend and partner, Clank, and is now in a new dimension in a mysterious urban sprawl called Nefarious City. This reminds me of, like, uh... Kind of like the Jack and... Like, Jack 2. But more like the... That Django Fett game for, like, the PS2. Like, that environment. Super dope. It's, like... Dark noir vibes and and Star Please Wars. Let there be good news behind here. Ratchet quickly finds out that in this dimension, Doctor Nefarious is a much more capable villain. Welcome to the Nefarious City Bazaar. Please remember to thank our marvelous Emperor before, during, and after making your purchase. Emperor? Does that mean? There are two nefariouses now? Clank first, nefarious labor. Maybe he's in this bazaar. Thanks to the new hardware, the worlds in Rift Apart are more beautiful than ever. Cities are full of life with traffic and civilians milling about everywhere. Rift Apart is full of the unexpected. Characters in this new dimension are not always the same as they were in Ratchet and Clank's dimension. Ratchet comes across Miss Zircon, the weapon vendor in Rift Apart. Oh, wait a second. You forgot your order. Well, come right in. My dogs are barking at Ms. something. Miss Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous, or the resistance will not. They're barking at nothing. The resistance? Ridiculous. Oh, apologies, sugar. Miss Zircon is still oh, the cutscenes are beautiful too. Everything's so pretty. Clank has been taken by a mysterious new lombard. That's just so much more furry than. That ship. How can I get off planet? It's a test. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. The <laughs> Phantom can help. Just follow the bait to Club Nefarious and you will find him. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, My and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. This is so exciting. Club Nefarious shouldn't be hard to miss. Better look around. Man, this world is so cool. Like a club, all right. Everyone's robots. <laughs> Once Ratchet finds Phantom, he learns a couple of new moves. Cool. I like an air dash. One of the focal points of gameplay in Rift Apart is increased mobility. Ratchet can now dash and wall run to traverse levels. This focus on mobility allows players to chain that's, moves together to create a gonna feel nice. Now let's jump into combat. A nefarious day spa. 
If you can distract these troopers, I'll hack Nefarious' propaganda blimp and give this city a message it'll never forget. Looks easy enough. Dashing allows you to evade attacks or gain strategic advantages. <laughs> Everybody's and running now. It doesn't momentarily exist. <laughs> Dimensional tears in the world allow you to use the Rift Tether, another new traversal mechanic to instantly pull yourself across battlefields to escape or flank enemies. Weapons in Rift Apart utilize the power of the DualSense wireless controllers, adaptive triggers, and haptic feedback to allow players to really feel the power of their arsenal. For example, with the Burst Pistol, players can pull back the trigger partway to peck out accurately placed single shots. But pulling the trigger fully unleashes a rapid-fire spread that covers more area. In either case, players will feel each shot burst from the weapon and connect with enemies. With the Enforcer, players can pull the trigger down halfway to fire a single barrel, reducing time between reloads. Or pull the trigger fully and unleash both barrels with a devastating close-range attack. Thanks to the haptics, the player will feel the power of their shots through their hands. I'm excited for the new guns. I like some of the 2016 guns. Some of them were... I don't know, they weren't as fun. As Ratchet attempts to follow, I don't know. I hope plank, there's, he encounters a you know, juggernaut. quite a bit. A, a good, a good variety, but plentiful. That's a nice gun. I like that. So you got four on you, like normal. But do you also have like the extended wheel? During this fight, more dimensional chaos ensues. Thanks to the power of the SSD, we can near instantly teleport players to completely different locations. This isn't some small arena being loaded, but the entire level from a different planet. Cool. Let's jump over and see what's going on with Rivet and Clank. As you may have guessed, Rivet is a brand new playable character in the series. Yeah, I want to hear about her. Taking me. I was gonna take you to my hideout, but first I gotta rescue my friends at their gelatonium factory. Rift Apart includes several alternate dimension versions of classic planets from past I love games. the environments. Oh. 2016, there was only like two, Did we mention how two environments that I would say that I didn't the like. And it wasn't that they were bad. We've been able to create alien planets with they were just more boring than, than the others, Let's but... A lot of the game yeah. That's is really cool right looking. One. Soon as I can get close enough. Back to Ms. Zircon, the weapons vendor. Whoa. This wasn't what was in my account last cool. time. Oh, that is because I added our mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. In Rift Apart, you get to play with an explosive new arsenal, as well as a few returning classics. And that... Are they both going to have, like, completely different guns? Because that would be sick. And I didn't, I didn't pay attention to see what Ratchet sense. had at the time. The topiary sprinkler, players will feel if, resistance if they showed it, the I think I might have been looking away. This garden grenade. Once on the ground and spitting out its rapid growth plant fertilizer, players will also feel when enemies have been topiaried and are ready to be trimmed down. Grass can like freeze or something, that's kinda cool. 
Or is a sprinkler? Grass gun. <laughs> it's a sprinkler. In addition to so we did see Ratchet use that at the beginning um, in the original announcement. So maybe they do have the same guns. Smarty bot, what is this place? I, um, a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the Dimensionator's destruction. How do you come up with this stuff? Hey, it's Maynard, the Mortz's helper bot. Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the Speedle. The Speedle. Hitting its nest might get its attention. Well, hello there. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe Maynard okay, so we didn't we see Ratchet do this as well? So maybe we were really gonna do it as her this. Or maybe you just come back to the same levels together. That that makes sense too, right? Now if we could get away from this acid. Come on, Maynard! Let's find the morts! Riding speedles is one way of traversing Sargasso's acid swamps, and to do so quickly. Excuse me! Look out! I got it! I got it! See? Sometimes I don't crash. Cool. Coming, Mortz. We didn't follow that Lombax and his robopet across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. <laughs> Hang on there now. If you watched our previous gameplay demo, you may recognize the goons for less. That mouth this movement was strange. Has been hired by Dr. <laughs> Nefarious to attack Ratchet and Clank. And are now also trapped in Rivet's dimension. It doesn't match Here's the words. Here's another new weapon. The shatter bomb. Okay, is a yeah. So we do have our wheel. Deals a lot of damage to your And foes. she doesn't have all of hers. Feedback, each explosion feels incredibly impactful. You can find a lombax. Where are these doofuses coming from? Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. <laughs> Such a cool looking game. So much exploding. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. She has a dash too. So maybe they'll control pretty much similar. I mean, I would imagine so, but like a lot more than just like controls but this is just a small weapon taste of and some ability of wise in Rift Apart, but there is so much more we have open areas to explore cool dimensional clank puzzles <laughs> glitch challenges arena challenges aerial combat hell yeah Right, a fucking dragon. Gold bolts to collect. Pocket dimensions to explore. Armor to obtain and use. In oh, the those are sick. Photo mode. And giving more people access to playing our Pew. games is always important to us. As such, Rift Apart will offer a slew of accessibility options. We'll reveal more about this soon. Experience Rift Apart's new planets, weapons, intense high action combat, and near instant load times, all with some of the best visuals we've ever created. How about that, huh? Yeah. Resistance Sweet Resistance These rifts are getting out of hand. On behalf of all of us at Insomniac Games, thank you for watching.
We'll see you in the Omniverse on June 11th. Hell yeah. That's our show. We explored the depths of an alien ocean, got a first look at Among Us on PlayStation, and zipped across space and time in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Cool beans. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. All right. Well, I don't have much to say about that, but I, I'm excited about it. It looks great. But it's no surprise because it's looked great from the beginning. I was just, I just wanted to see what, what they were going to show. And it's the state of play because so that, that putting that name to it, just like a Nintendo Direct, it kind of, it, it means something, right? I think. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I can't wait. I'm I'm gonna play it when I play it. Well, we might play through all of the original Ratchet and Clanks before then. <laughs> but yeah, well, with that being said, guys, uh, go check out the this is a thorough playthrough on the channel, and we just finished Little Nightmares two today. That that went up. Yeah, and go watch some Pokemon openings. Like and subscribe and shit. With that being said, it's been fun. It's been real. Peace out, Cub Scouts.